Another infield drill that we use is a communication drill between infielders and the pitcher. And what we do is we just set up a position that could be the pitcher, set up a position that could be another infielder. Right now, this drill we're going to demonstrate, Shelly's going to be a pitcher, I'm going to be a third baseman, and we're going to go ahead and have pop flies between us, and we're going to work on communicating with each other who has the ball and who doesn't. Any time that you can keep the play away from the pitcher, it may be helpful to you just because the infielders are probably used to fielding the ball a little bit more than the pitcher is. And remember, when in doubt between a pitcher and an infielder, the infielder always has the ball. So if you have both an infielder and a pitcher calling the ball together, it's the infielder's job to catch the ball. Also a communication rule between the infield and the outfield, if they're both calling it, the outfield always has precedent over the infield. Because they're moving in, their momentum is moving in, they have a better chance of catching it and throwing that runner out. Let's take a couple um, of balls right now, the communication between the pitcher and the infielder. Let's go, Shelly. When we work on this communication drill, notice that we both know the last point when we could call the ball. We have a reference system between us. The ball takes a flight up, then it reaches its peak flight and comes down. The rule between us is always we, one of us has to call the ball before it reaches its peak flight. That goes for the infielders and pitchers and infielders and outfielders. Let's take a look now at communication between the infielder and the outfielders. Let's go, Shell. 